The simple touch of a button could save hundreds of lives. This is one of two systems being developed to measure a driver's blood alcohol content. Current technology requires a, a tube to breathe into. It requires what's called a, a deep breath. Um, with this new technology, you're either touching something or you're breathing normally inside the vehicle. So it's very, very passive. Researchers say both methods eliminate the need for drivers to take any extra steps. And they're getting the thumbs up from Transportation Secretary Ray LaHood. In 2009, as we said, uh, 11,000 people were killed as a result of, uh, of drunk driving. And uh, that's 11,000 too many. Laura Dean Mooney, the president of Mothers Against Drunk Driving, was also on hand. Nineteen years ago, she lost her husband to a drunk driver. This technology that we're seeing today could ensure that one day no family will ever receive the knock on the door again. Critics have their reservations. Many doubt the technology could ever be perfected to the point that it would be fully reliable. Researchers admit it could be at least a decade before anything like this or this becomes common in cars. Ross Simpson, The Associated Press.